Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to another episode of just doing my makeup. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open right now because I'm sitting cl so close to the camera and the lights are just like they're killing me. Anyway, um, today I want to use a bunch of Essence products. So uh, Heat Group very kindly sent over some new products that are being released for the autumn winter 2008 um releases um so there's like glitters and i've got an eyeshadow palette oh, i've got like a um holographic um highlight stick there's mascaras uh a bunch of lip products so I'm going to get into it. If you um, want to know anything that's currently on my face, because I have like done my base, um, everything will be down below in the description box. Uh, but just to save time, I did it all before I sat down to film. So I'm going to start with my eyes, and the palette that they've sent is this one. It's called the Mermaid Eyeshadow Box 03. My shell is my castle. So it retails for $8.20. Um, and there's three others. Number one is hashtag beautiful. Um, number two is and happily ever after. Number four is a one way only. So there's four in the range. I kind of, I'm, I'm digging the packaging. I think it's really cute. Um, inside, pretty much everything looks shimmery except for this pink, which looks like it might be a matte or potentially satin. Um, I am not the type of person to do an all shimmery eye look. However, I since this is pretty colourful, like there's some, you know, some nice colours going on in there, I'm pretty drawn to this. This is making my brain fuzzy. Um, I'm going to do like a bright, colourful eye, but I do need some mattes. So before I start on that palette, I'm going to go in with this guy. This is the Sugar Pill Addicted to Pretty Pressed Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think they still make these particular palettes, but they do, like, they still do the eyeshadows individually. Um, so yeah, let's let's start. I'm gonna start with the shade Butter Cupcake and a Hakuhodu J5522. I'm using a Hakuhodu J5529 just to like get in right in there because I've got small eyes and they're hooded. Um, this big fluffy one doesn't quite reach right here in the inner corner. Okay, this shade here is Flame Point, and I'm just taking that in the center. This one is much more pigmented, um, and I'm using a Hakuhodu brush. I think this is from the G range, um, but it's not marked, so I don't know which one it is. And now I'm taking the shade Love Plus and the Hakuhodu J5522, which I spot cleaned. So we have a 228 Lux crease just to blend everything out. It's nice and clean. Now that I'm looking nice and frightening, I'm going to take the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. Stick a little bit on the back of my hand um, and I'm gonna do basically uh, I hate this a cut crease the reason I say that I um, I hate to say I'm doing a cut crease is because it's kind of a trendy thing to do these days um, and I honestly don't think it's really a look that um, you know a lot of people would use in a day-to-day -day thing this is not a day-to-day -day look though and I know that these eyeshadows are gonna need some help um, so something like this is a good idea this concealer has a nice tacky formula 
um, so I expect it to hold pigment quite well. Um, so an easy way if you ever want to do a cut crease, take a little like concealer brush or lip brush or whatever, pick up your um, concealer and line all across your lash line and then tilt your head down and look up. And what it'll do is it'll stamp the concealer in the perfect spot um, for a cut crease for your eye shape and then you can just fill it in where you need to. All right, business, let's do it. Um, I don't even know what shades I wanna use from this palette, so let's swatch them all. Ooh, okay, little bit difficult to swatch, a little bit fallouty, um, but they're looking pretty good so far. Fuck me, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm struggling. Focus on my arm, not on my face, camera. Um, so really pretty colors. I want to use, I really want to use this one, but it's, look, it's going to look crazy, but I kind of don't care. Do we care? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's use, um, let's use these two. I'm using a Zoeva 237 Detail Shader. For the next shade, I'm using a J242HS from Hakuhodu. So I'm just trying to soften the edges of the cut crease just a little bit. Because I'm going to go back in with the red, orange and yellow and do a little bit more blending. Hakuhodu J6090 and I'm going back in with the Sugar Pill yellow shade. So basically what I'm doing is um, blending color by color. So applying a little bit of the extra yellow along that line where the shades meet. Uh, it's creating a bit more of a green tone and then when I feel like I'm losing a bit of that pale blue I go back to my pale blue brush and I tap that on the inner corner. Uh, so the idea is to have the colors just transition basically. Yellow mixed with blue makes a green so when you can see that there's like three different colors there, but they're blended quite nicely, you're on the right track. And the orange shade, you probably want to be careful, don't blend too much um, into the blues and the like greeny or the light blue and the sort of deeper blue, because uh, it will go muddy and make a brown color. And I'm just taking a huge fluffy blender just to make sure that orange is blend it out. This is a Morphe 504. I'm using a Ray Morris 7.6 Detail Round Shader. Finally, for this red shade, um, it's, you know, pretty safe to blend it into the blue because it's going to make purple. Um, and I'm just using a smaller detail brush uh, so I've got more control over where I'm applying the colour. This is a Morphe M513 and just trying to make sure those colors are all married together. On my lower lash line, I want to use two colors. I want to use this purple one here and I want to use this dark one over here. So the purple one I'm going to put sort of on the inner part and then the darker one on the outer part. All right, let's see how this applies just straight to the skin. Um, I'm using a Hakuhodu J144H and I haven't uh, primed the under eyes or the, you know, lower lash line. Um, it has been set. So there's really not much for it to stick to. 
Mm. Okay, <laughs> not great. Let's try and layer it up. If that doesn't work, I'll go in wet. Okay, it's not great. Um, over a primer, I think it would actually be better, but I don't want to prime under my eyes, so I'm going to wet my brush and try it that way. Okay, I definitely think they're better wet. All right, now for the dark shade, I'm using that Hakuhodu little brush that um, doesn't have a number. Stick this on, see what it's like. Wow, okay. I actually think that has pretty decent pigmentation um, just on its own. The brush is completely dry. Um, and like I said, there's no primer under there. Um, little Hakuhodu uh, blending brush, again, doesn't have a number. I will link these down below. Well, not link them, but I'll list them down below. Um, I'm just going to use it to blend those edges so they're a little bit softer. Um, I look really scary at the moment. Um, I'm going to go whack on some eyeliner before I move on to the next product. Alright, I got my Sisters Not Twins um, eyeliner going on and I'm actually going to put some glitter on my eyes. So they sent uh, two glitters and it looks like there's six in the range. These retail for $6 and 15 cents each um, This one here is what are you called? What are you called? Number three life of the party. It's like a pink um, sort of iridescent Pink green purple ish glitter very pretty and then there are silver stars in all different shapes and or not shapes all different sizes this one is number one star child so I'm gonna use the pink iridescent and I think what I want to do is um, put it just over the eyeliner on the inner part of the eye I don't know how it's gonna look let's try it they do have a glitter primer in this range they didn't send it to us but I'm gonna use the liquid sugar um, glitter base this is from uh, eye candy all right moment of truth let's see if we can get this on without getting it all over my face no nah. oh my god not giving up I'm gonna try the Too Faced glitter glue primer um, the eye candy liquid sugar it works really well when you're doing like large spaces but it doesn't seem to want to stick um, in just that small area so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a Hakuhodu J 521H. It's actually a tight lining brush, tiny little one. Um, so pack it up with product and then stamp the product where I want the glitter to stick. Because it's uh, an iridescent glitter, I feel like, I mean, you can see it sort of change at different angles, but you can't see the intensity of it on there. I think it would be much better done with um, just like an opaque glitter. So like a blue or a gold or whatever, you know, color you like. Um, but an iridescent glitter, it's kind of hard to see. All right, little bit of sparkle there, which is nice. Um, I was hoping for a bit more of an opaque glitter finish, but I don't hate it. Um, I have two mascaras here. So I've got the Volume Hero Mascara 
and I have the Super Curl Mascara. So these retail for $6.15 each. Uh, the Super, wait, the Hero, Super, wait, what am I doing? Volume Hero Mascara um, offers extra volume and maximum lashes. And the Super Curl um, gives volume with a breathtaking curl and an eye-opening effect. I want eye-opening effect, so I'm going to go with the Super Curl. Let's see what this is like. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I don't hate it. I'm I'm keen. Okay, it feels quite wet. Um, so that's a thing. It's not really clumping my lashes. Damn it, I just closed my eyes too tightly and got mascara all on my lower lash line. Um, it's yeah, not clumping. And I do think it offers a little bit of length and like opens up the eye. I like the wand. It feels like it grips uh, the lashes really nicely. Okay, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Um, I quite like it on my right eye. Uh, putting on the second layer while it was still a bit wet has... Not really made it clump, it's just that some of the lashes sort of moved into a position that um, wasn't, you know, very flattering. Um, so that's why I'm taking this little comb through. Uh, on my left eye, which is what I consider my bad eye, uh, where the lashes are just, they're different. They're not as nice as my right eye. Um, I found that it just, it wasn't really sitting that nicely. However, now that I've taken the comb through, they look not too bad. Look, I think people, there's going to be a lot of people out there that like that mascara. I just want to have a little rant about my foundation, actually. Um, so it is the Mina 3-in-1 foundation. Um, it's all cracking and breaking down around this area of my face, making me look old. Thanks. Um, yeah, that's, that's not good because I haven't had it on for very long. Okay, not using that again. I just popped on a pair of lashes. They're the Nakia Joy Melanie lashes and I've cut them um, in half so that they are a bit more of a demi lash. Now, I'm thinking I'm done with the eyes. I've done so much to those eyes. Um, I have two highlighting type products. So there is the Hollow Wow Sparkle Stick and there is the Glow to Go Illuminating Setting Spray. So the Hollow Wow Sparkle Stick retails for $7.15. I'm going to swatch this first because I want to see what it's like. Oh, it's actually quite pretty. I wonder how that would go over foundation. <gasps> I don't know. I'm scared. I'm going to put some on a beauty blender and um, pray. Pray that this goes well. It's not going on very heavy. Let's let's do it. Oh it's lifting foundation. Let's tap. Just tap. Okay. Screw the beauty blender, let's do the finger. I would probably advise not to put this over set foundation. Um, some sticks you can do it with, some you can't. The only way you're ever going to know if it's going to work for you is to try it 
but um, from what happened over here, I wouldn't do that. I do think just patting it on with your finger works better. So that's nice. But once the damage is done, like over here, uh, it's done. So, but this side doesn't look too bad. Then we have the illuminating setting spray. Um, so this says it creates a radiant look with light reflecting pigments. It retails for $6.75. I want to spray this on my hand to see what it looks like before I go in on my face. Mm, okay, so there is some splotches, which means I'm not spraying this on my face because I want to film after this. And it's got a pink shimmer. It's like the MAC um, Fix Light in pink. Uh, so, you know, it's a cheaper version of that, which I don't hate. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells, I don't know what that is, but it smells really nice. Um, but I do not want pink shimmer all over my face. So I'm gonna skip that for this video. Last things, I've got a bunch of lip products. So there's a lip liner here. This is the Draw The Line Instant Color Lip Liner in the shade So Ungrateful. Um, and there is a sharpener at the end. That is, that's cool. All right, excellent. Um, and it is a really pretty gray color. Also mechanical, so you don't have to sharpen it if you don't want to. Let's see what the color's like. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, yes, yes. I'm definitely going to use that. I actually love Essence lip liners, so I'm happy to have that. They retail for $3.05. Then we have a Color Boost Vinylicious Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade number seven, Bite Me If You Can. These retail for $5.75. Looks like there's, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, there's seven shades in the range. I thought it would be like a squeezy thing, but it's actually a doe foot applicator and it's an hourglass shade. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, let's see. Let's, uh, let's, let's do it right here. Whoa. Ooh, that's a nice color. It doesn't really smell like anything. But nice color, glossy liquid lipstick. Um, and I've got two Color Up Shine On lipsticks. So these are $4.70 each. There is seven in the range. I've got the shades. Number eight, Flaming Red. Let's give it a swatch down here. Okay, not super pigmented, but that's all right. Uh, and I've got, what are you, Rosy Glitz. This is number 10. Oh, this looks like a nice sort of nudie shade. Not bad. Nice color, not super pigmented. These do have a bit of a shine to them. So what I'm going to do is take the lip liner and Rosy Glitz and we're going to do a lip. These taste nice. Kind of sweet, maybe a bit chocolatey. And here we have the finished look. So lip liner, I really like it. I like the color, I like the formula. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The lip product uh, is quite sheer. So I sort of blended it in with the lip liner. Um, I would wear the like rosy nudish one. The red one being a bit sheer, I 
probably wouldn't wear it. I'm not a huge fan of like sheer reds. I like them to be a lot more bold, but I will hold on to it and give it a go. Um, the spray I think is something I would like to try on my body. The MAC um, Fix Light, I've got one in pink, similar to that color. Um, I don't really love it on the face to be perfectly honest, and I don't think I would really want this all over my face either. Uh, the mascaras, look, they're fine. They're not quite as volumizing as I would, or lengthening um, as I would want them to be, but, you know, I'll continue, oh, dropping things. I'll continue to play with them. Uh, the stick, the highlighter stick, mm, look, I'm not, I'm not, it's pretty, it looks really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not sold yet. We'll just, I'll keep playing with it. Um, the eyeshadow palette, I fucking love it. I love it. I really, like, I'm really impressed. I wasn't expecting much. Um, based on my past experience with Essence eyeshadows, I really wasn't expecting much. So I did go in thinking like, I need to help these eyeshadows perform and I definitely think that they do need help. Um, but even this one, the dark one that I used on the lower lash line in the corner, that went on quite vibrant just on its own without any assistance. So yeah, I'm I'm keeping this and I, I really enjoy it. I'm gonna use it more in the future, play around with it. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Massive thanks to Heat Group for sending out this little parcel. Um, I'm digging that eyeshadow palette. I'm really like, I'm kind of loving what is going on up here. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave comments down in the comments section. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.